there's always a production at um, Chipotle when you go when you're in line and you're getting your bowl or your burrito or whatever I guess tacos too you could have made but you know I'm real simple I'm in line I want the rice I skip the beans I go to the meat someone was in front of me yesterday in the line causing the whole production they were at the they made it to the meat and they had to go back for the rice they had questions about something they got to the salsa they got to the veg and then they had to go back again to the meat and they just couldn't make traction by the time I, I, I was straight through to the line at the end. They were confused. Uh, I, I think they ended up all the way back in the beginning uh, by the bowl or the burrito, the, the, the taco, the distribution method, if you will. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com, and today we're going to look at an amazing option for packaging Windows apps. It uses uh, WinGet and some automation around the content prep tool. So really excited to show this to you. I mean, I don't mind making the effort, but I think at this point, I'm just gonna stick to door dashing because uh, who's got the time? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we've done a lot with app packaging and chocolatey. Um, I did a few different ways to automate around that so one tool that was brought to my attention i'm going to show you here by steven van roy and i hope i'm not butchering the name if i am steven i apologize but this is an amazing tool he brought to my attention that he has here um basically what it is is it's a um basically it's a it's a it's a uh net framework tool uh runs with the command line and it takes the automation of Winget, which is really nice. Uh, so it allows you to search the repository of all those packages. Um, and then it goes through several pieces too, right? It includes the packaging itself of creating the uh, Intune Win off of that. And it takes it one step further, which is to publish it as well to Intune for you. So, um, you know, Steven reached out to me asking if I would take a look at this. It's an incredible tool, I think, in my opinion, and I've seen a lot of these types um, uh, of tools, and I, I was running through it and very impressed with it. So I want to take you guys through it, show you how you can use it, package some apps, publish it in tune. So uh, we're going to use the Rubik's Dev Tenant for this because I tested this in Steve capacity. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, show you a fresh, fresh setup with it. Okay. So first thing we have to do is we have to get the tool. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need uh, the .NET 7 framework and we can use Winget to grab that. So I'm gonna open PowerShell as an administrator. Let's blow this up a little bit. Um, it's pretty simple, I'm gonna take you through this part. We're gonna do Winget install. The ID is Microsoft.NET SDK 7 and the source will be Winget. Let's go ahead and grab that. Oh, I typed something wrong. Uh, source Winget. Oh, I added a, I added a hyphen. Can't do that. Okay, there we go. Now it's, now it's run. Well, we all make mistakes. I'm gonna become the Bob Ross of Intune. Just happy little accidents, happy little mistakes. I'm gonna start putting big trees on the screen. Okay, so the latest .NET SDK is installing. Um, so we're gonna need that to run the tool. Okay, with that there, we are going to add the NuGet source. Uh, if we, if you didn't already, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So .NET, we can use now as command since we have it. NuGet add source, HTTPS, API.NuGet dot org v3 index dot json name is nuget dot org i think uh what did i do oh we might have to kill this and restart it here okay there we go okay you have to relaunch the session uh for the variables to kick in sometimes dot net nuget add source https api dot uh, nuget.org v3 index.json 
name you get death board. All right, uh, package source, we, uh, we added it successfully. Okay, so let's clear the screen. Okay, so now we're gonna do .NET, and now we're gonna actually install uh, Steven's tool, um, which is actually, it's called the Winget Intune Packager uh, command line interface, or just Winget Intune. So we're gonna do .NET tool install global and s-v-r-o-o-r-j dot winget intune cli and that will install the winget intune tool for us we got it um if you need to update to the latest latest version you could just change install to update um so if you want to check to make sure you have that although no reason we shouldn't Okay, 060. Great. Uh, we're going to close PowerShell one more time, and reopen it to make sure we don't have problems calling the tool. All right. So, first things first, uh, the way the tool works, you're going to want to find the app you want to package in WinGet itself. So, I'm going to just do a quick WinGet search for 7zip. Okay, so you can see there's a lot of options for 7-Zip. Um, I'm going to go with the basic one. So you want to make note of the ID. The ID is 7-Zip.7-Zip. Uh, seven seven so that's what we want. Um, so now that we know that, we can say we want to basically create that package. So I'm going to make a folder where I'm going to keep my Winget packages. Um, I'm just going to call it winget there we go so c winget because they're gonna have a place to put these <laughs> so to call the tool you're gonna go winget in dash in tune okay package is the command we're using and we want the id from before so remember that was seven zip dot seven zip it's whatever the the winget id column is okay we want to go package folder and then we're just going to specify where we want to put it so winget that should be it so this is really cool so this is doing two things for us in one shot it's it's getting the application from winget and it's making the intune win for us so that's already done that was super fast that was less than five seconds so if I go back to that folder, you see I have a folder now with the ID name, 7zip7zip. Seven zip, seven zip. A few things in it. We have our logo, and you know how much I love having all the details for Intune. So we have our logo. We have a few other things too, right? So we have the Intune win itself, okay? Um, we have the app JSON metadata. We'll talk about that in a minute. We have the detection rule, right? The product code, the version. And we have some text in the readme. So we have the display name, the home page, install script. Um, we have a description. Everything you need to go ahead and package the application. But as easy as it is, we're going to take it one step further here. This is what I really like about the tool. So what we're going to do is we are now going to move over to the publish command. And with publish, we're going to say we want to do winget intune. When get in tune, we want to do publish. So we're going to want to specify our package folder. See, when get, uh, where is it? 7 zip. Yep, oh, I didn't give the name. Yep, I forgot the name. My bad. Let's do that again. So, when get in tune, publish. Same thing, the ID, 7-zip, seven 7-zip. Seven and then you're going to specify your package folder so it can find that for you. See, winget. Okay. So now with this, you're going to get prompted to authenticate, okay, into the your environment. So we're going to do work or school account. And we're just going to go ahead and log into the tenant. Uh, this is going to be the Rubik's Dev one. Um, and I'll show you just for kicks here that we do not have 7-Zip right now in Rubik's Dev. I, I, I think I checked. Apps, no 7-Zip. Okay. 
So we'll come back to that. So I'm going to authenticate. Let's see the OAuth screen. Now, because this is obviously using graph, we're going to have to consent to the permissions that the app needs. Go ahead and consent on behalf of the organization. Accept. Okay. Now it's actually going to go through. And what it's doing to post is it's using, because it's using the graph call, um, it's using that metadata uh, JSON file I showed you, which is where that, where that comes from. So let me just show you real quick. That would be, so it uses everything in there, but we have, uh, where did it go? Here, let's go back to see Winget 7-zip. So this app JSON, if we want to take a look at this. Yeah, there you go. This is what it's using to go ahead and, and put all this in Intune, right? So this is the actual JSON payload that's posting. Um, which is very, very convenient. So going back to apps, I'm going to refresh and take a look at this. Seven zip is here now. Okay. I didn't, it didn't assign it yet. That's okay. We've got a properties and look at this. We have the logo. Okay. Um, we have the notes that give us the timestamp. It was generated by the Winget Intune tool. We have the developer, the URL, we have the description. Um, the publisher, the app version. If you go down here, I have my install and uninstall commands. Um, we have our uh, uh, requirements here, which obviously can edit, right? Some baseline stuff, that's gonna be fine. Um, and our detection rule as well. The detection rule, because it's MSI code, it automatically sets this to the versioning. Again, you can change this to just being, um, you know, you can turn off the version check. Um, but, but there you go, right? And, and you can do this with anything you find in Winget search. Uh, where was it? Winget uh, search, is it wrong? Yeah, you can do a Winget search star. Uh, why is that not working? Winget list, yeah. So, I mean, obviously there's a lot of, there's a lot here. So if you just wanna search for something google chrome is here anything that's available in winget you know you could just build packages from this um so this is really helpful right this is just another way to automate app packaging so to steven van roy again hope i didn't butcher your name i apologize but thank you for creating this tool it's it's very streamlined, uh, really easy to use, and very impressive in the way it's going to publish directly to Intune. Um, I know I had a conversation with Steven and some other folks um, online talking about best practices for app packaging, different methods. Some folks have reached out to me and said, well, I like Chocolatey or I don't like Chocolatey or I want to use Winget. I want to package with the content prep tool. I think it's very clear to say that there is not a silver bullet tool right now, right? Um, whether you're packaging or you're using Patch My PC, which is another great solution we'll cover. Um, obviously, you know, in uh, just another month or so, Intune is gonna, in the Intune suite, we're gonna have the application management feature, which is gonna have a lot of this baked in, but you know, only time will tell how smooth that's gonna be on launch. I think it's really important to understand that there's no best, right? It's all about um, having options what works best for you, what works best for the uh, specific app. I remember, I can tell you this, when we started working with Intune and bringing this to organizations, there were, it was the opposite. We had very few options, right? It was a single file MSI or you had to do some crazy PowerShell script. Now, between the content prep tool, uh, automation tools like Winget Intune here, the work with Chocolatey, Patch My PC, it's good to have options. Let me know which ones you like the best, what you've used, if you've had problems with this, if you haven't checked out the Winget Intune CLI tool here, definitely check it out. Let me know what you think about it. We'll talk soon. Five, four, three.